subject cash flows today in particular three concepts of outflow inflow and net flow here is an example we can see a project with a couple of activities and the expenditure for each activity shown in this table the values for monthly outflows or expenditure can be calculated and also the cumulative outflow for the project values uh, can be plotted uh, on the two axes uh, on the horizontal axis we have time and on the vertical axis uh, dollar values for example uh, a project with six activities and uh, the monthly outflow values are shown down the bottom the next uh, concept to be discussed is uh, inflow important to note different methods of payment uh, one is constant payment and it can be on a weekly monthly uh, or other another uh, method of payment is a stage based as uh, you can see at certain stages uh, of the project uh, an invoice is issued and uh, the contractor is paid uh, for the work that has been done on the project and uh, finally another method of payment is turnkey when a lump sum amount is paid at the very end of the project we have different um, um, activities undertaken uh, during the four months the first month uh, 1500 dollars spent there is a margin of five percent for overhead costs and ten percent for the profit that um, contractor is considering so the due amount will be 1725 uh, on the first invoice the client always uh, takes uh, a 10 percent of or so of this amount uh, for retention and a guarantee for good quality of work and this is deducted from the invoice uh, payable value uh, will be uh, 1553 but this amount is not paid uh, to the contractor immediately because the processing time by the client and uh, with some delay in this case one month the amount is paid to the contractor so we have uh, the final uh, invoice uh, paid in months uh, five and uh, retentions are paid after the final invoice um, we can uh, uh, use the values to plot uh, the graph uh, for cumulative inflow uh, as you can see the jump from 0 to 1553 uh, and a jump to a cumulative amount of 4658 at the end of month 3 and so on and so forth there is another uh, example uh, project uh, 13 months of time uh, with uh, the monthly costs uh, and then at the end of 15 the retention of 10,000 350 is paid to the contractor we can uh, use the values to draw the cumulative uh, inflow graph as can be seen in the red uh, color in this slide cash flow which here is an example uh, it's uh, important to understand that uh, at the beginning of the object uh, this uh, value uh, might be showing a negative balance but towards the end of the project uh, the net uh, flow will uh, have positive second example we have the same uh, concept and as you can see uh, for example the uh, flow for months five excess of forty thousand uh, dollars this is the required fund for the project um, and the contractor needs to have this amount of support uh, themselves and that's all uh, we wanted to uh, cover uh, today Looking forward to see you soon.